Welcome to A Test Explains. Hi, I'm Jeremy, and in this series we explore the wonderful world of market research to help you better understand it, use it, and ultimately grow your business as a result of it. Whether you're new to market research or just need a refresher, this is our quick summary of creative testing and how it can help your business. What is creative testing? You know all of those beautiful assets your creative team has been busy producing. Wouldn't it be amazing if you could compare different versions to find out which will actually give you the best results? Creative testing does exactly that. Why should you do creative testing? In a nutshell, testing your creative reduces the risk of your marketing materials being a flop. It could be a TV ad, a billboard layout, or a new logo. By testing your assets with your target audience, you'll find out their reaction and sentiment towards them and use that insight to inform your next steps. What happens if you don't do creative testing? Sometimes a piece of creative work is launched that falls flat or worse. Take a lesson from the Olympics. While the London 2012 games were a triumph overall, the official logo was ridiculed from the off and a petition to replace it gathered tens of thousands of signatures. What lesson was learned from London 2012? Make sure you test your logo before launching it to the world. What types of creative testing are there? If you want to test multiple creative assets, there are two main types, monadic and sequential. Don't worry, they sound far more complex than they actually are. For monadic testing, your audience is split into as many groups as the number of assets you're testing. So if you have three logos to test, you'll have three different groups of people, each analyzing a different design. This is for when you want more detailed analysis and in-depth responses from your audience. Sequential testing is when your audience remains as one group and each individual analyzes your assets one after the other. You'll get more data and responses per asset, but it's likely to be less in-depth in its nature. So, once you've chosen your style and conducted your research, what's next? The results from your creative testing should give you a good idea about how your audience feels about what you presented to them. You could then use this knowledge to process whether that means you need to go back to the drawing board because of some negative or constructive feedback, or whether you've blown them away with your creative from the off. Either way, you'll come out of your creative testing more knowledgeable than you went in and feel confident in your marketing decisions. To learn more, Check out our creative testing templates in the link in the description below.